Hey there, Mr. Leatherwood. Mrs. Weeks. And Mr. Postel. And we're going to talk about decimals this week. Um, and we're going to start off talking, identifying decimal place value, mm -hmm. and then we'll move into comparing and ordering decimals. And can I just compliment your chart that I think is absolutely fabulous here? Well, thank you. It was just a picture of something. It doesn't matter. Take credit for it. Okay. Take a Yay, bow. That's <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Um, so this is a good one because it, it starts looking at stuff that we already know. Ooh, I got an arrow this time. Look at there. That's weird. Tenths place, thousands place are whole numbers. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to end up going over into our decimals, mm -hmm. which they should, from last year, know these right. two place values. And then we're going to get to mm -hmm. our third place value. Today. Right, absolutely. So just like we increase place value going the other direction that we went into the billions and things like that, yes. there, we're just going to increase place value of going this way or lower. Okay. can't decide what color I want to use. I don't know. Well, green. this is blue and gray. So, yeah, yeah. maybe green. green. That would be pretty good. Okay. Let's see what it does. So this number we should know is 79,321. Okay. So far. That's your whole number. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the decimal point, they say decimal point. Mm -hmm. um, this should be, and it's very important to me and you, we just talked yes, about. Yes, we did. That they say and. Mm -hmm. So it needs to be 79,321 and, and blah, 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 blah. Right, exactly. And we're going to teach them the blah, blah, blah. That's right. Right, Okay. They so we say have, blah, blah, blah. yeah, hopefully not. Okay. Yeah. okay, so they should know from last year this place, mm -hmm. and they should know this place. Right. So let's go ahead and say this is the, the tenth. Look at that handwriting. That's pretty good. Yeah, tenths. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Now let me see you do this one. <laughs> um, that's not a U. It kind of looks like a U. Yeah, I don't know. Hundreds. <laughs> Nice. Hundreds. And again, they should know both of those. Yes. So tenths and hundreds. Right. So just the point. Okay. Ten. Yes. Hundred. Mm -hmm. And so then we went to thousand. So if we went tenths, tenths hundreds, hundreds, we're probably going to go to thousands. Thousands. Did you leave enough room? I don't think you left enough room. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All one word, thousands. <laughs> there you go, thousands. Beautiful. Not really, but it'll yeah, work. Yeah, exactly. They get the idea. <laughs> so thousands. Um, right. So let's say, let's go ahead and put a thousands in there. Let's put an eight. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. So that'll change our number. Mm -hmm. So we have seventy-nine thousand three hundred twenty-one and, and four hundred fifty-eight thousands. So how did I this? Very difficult. How do I figure out what I... Why don't I say 458 tenths or 458 hundredths? Can you explain that? Well, that's after the decimal, correct? So yes. every place after it, just like we would say if something lived in the thousands place, we wouldn't say it as the hundreds or the tens or anything like that. Okay. So, so that last digit that we right, look added, at. Exactly. Added one more place to it. So that's what we're going to acknowledge. Okay. We're groovy. We're good. We are groovy. I, I think so. Okay. I think because they already come to us with that knowledge of the tenths and the hundredths place, now just adding that one more place shouldn't be as hard for them. Okay. I'm going to give them an example. Okay. Okay. I think that's perfect. Do, do, do. Really jamming with that whole number there. Yeah, well, they've gone, they've gone up to that place value. No, yeah. Right? yeah. Yep. So reading, think about how it's supposed to be uh -huh. said, right? So reading this one would be Miss Posell. What would that be? Yes, oh, she's go ahead. Read, she's reading upside down, so we'll see, yeah. see if she can do there it. There you go. Remember, we all learn from mistakes. So it's yes. Oh, so my so semester? No, no. Oh, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if you're paying attention. <laughs> exactly. 843,124 and... and good. Three hundred twenty-one thousand. Very, Very nice. nice. See? Yay! Okay. I like how she said "and" at this yes. point. Okay. Um, we'll try one more, and then we'll move on to comparing. Okay. Okay. Oh, so much fun. Our, our video is getting a little long, though, so I'll try to. Yes. Wrap it up quickly. Okay. <laughs> Quick number. Oh, good googly moogly. What are you doing? Um, All right. Make that decimal point. 
Okay. Okay. 12,454 and, and 101,000. Very good. Nice Yay. job. Well, thank you. What if you had had a zero in the tenths place, too? Um, then it would be 12,000, 12,454 mm -hmm. and 1,000th. Very nice. I can't trick you, can I? Well, not today. <laughs> well, we still have a slide to get. Yes, that's see. true. Yeah. All right, comparing decimals. I push the button. Okay, okay. all right. There it goes. Fabulous. Comparing decimals. <laughs> okay, so you're going to get a lot of problems in the next couple of weeks that are dealing with um, like a swim week, sw swim meet race or something like that where you're going to get different numbers and you have to order them from least to greatest. Right. A lot of that okay. comparing those decimals and ordering them. Right. Correct. Okay. So... For instance, you may have 12 and 4 tenths. Right. 12 and 401 thousandths. 12 and 104 thousandths. 12 and... Miss <laughs> Weeks can't see because I'm drawing. <laughs> She's very frustrated. 12 hundredths. Awesome. Does that work? Yes, that's fabulous. Okay. And we want to treat you, teach you, treat you. We want to treat you to this wonderful strategy of how to compare decimals. Right? Right. 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 And I love that you mentioned a fancy trick. So you're going to show them all your fancy it tricks? It is. A, it's kind of a fancy trick. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll call it that. It's kind of a silly trick. That's fantastic. Okay. So what I do first, I have four numbers. So I draw four dots. And my dots are the decimal points. Right. Okay. And when I taught sixth grade, I always told them it was kind of, doo -doo -doo. it was like my shirt. Because I always wore a shirt and tie until my principal came and said, please don't do that because they think you're the principal. Okay. Um, but I line up my decimals mm -hmm. just like a shirt would. The buttons on a shirt. Okay. That, that yes. makes sense -ish. Yes, it does. Okay. Except now you have a shirt and we can't have room to write our my shirt. Okay. Either. It's disappearing. Okay. All right. So I always write my decimals first and then Correct. I go back and I fill in my digits. Right. So I'm just writing what's above. 12, 104 thousandths. Correct. 12 and 12 hundredths. Beautiful. So you, so you can see, place value-wise, they all line up where exactly. they're supposed to be. Exactly. My next step to this is right now they look all kinds of different. Yep. We have um, three digits here. Looks like five digits, five and four. Right. I want them to all look the same. So what okay. I can do on a decimal is I can add zeros and it doesn't change the number. At, no, as at long it. as it's after, right? Right, as long I as it's after the, after the decimal point. Yes. Um, I guess we could also say I could add zeros out here forever and it would not change not the whole number either. Whole but number. we're yep. not really dealing with that, so we'll get rid of that. Right. Okay. So I can add as many zeros as I want Going, going to the to right, right. Mm -hmm. on my my decimal. It's not yes. going to change it. But it's really easy to compare these now. Yeah. Okay. So now what I do <laughs> is I look at my whole numbers first. All the whole numbers are 12. Exactly. So I don't have to worry about that. So it that. doesn't really help you. It's kind of no. like alphabetizing. They all start with A. That doesn't really help you, does it? That's right. So let's see if this works. Do, 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 do. What are you doing? Oh, you'll see. It'll all make sense. <laughs> okay. I promise. All right. Okay, what I do is I use my hand, but in, <laughs> and since I don't have a hand, I do this. I'm okay. going to cover it up. You are so fancy and sometimes. I, <laughs> I don't think people appreciate this. I'm going to look at the tenths place okay. first. All right. Okay, and let's say I'm going least to greatest. I okay. can see that 12 and 1 tenth, right. these guys down here at the bottom, are going to be smaller, are going to be smaller than, than the top 12 two. and 4 tenths. So I'm going right. least to greatest. I'm going to ignore the 12 and 4 tenths. Then I'm going to move over. Now I'm looking at the thousands place on these bottom two. So 12 and 10 thousandths and 12, huh? Oh, hundreds, hundreds excuse me. 12 and 10 hundredths. We got you. You did. <laughs> and 12 and 12 hundredths. Right. So I can say that 12 and 10, 10 hundredths, hundredths is right. less than 12 hundredths. Mm -hmm. So 12 and 10 hundredths would be my first number. Right. Very nice. I like this. So probably going to mess everything up. So this would be... My least 
This would be my second least. Okay. And then I'm going to look at the top two now. I can Yeah, go except that we're at 40 hundredths, yes. right? So they're not... Oh, it's going to move my writing. This did this last year. It was kind of funny. That's okay, though. Okay. All right. Okay. It's going to work. Okay. So now I'm looking at the top. They're both, both 40 exactly hundredths Exactly the right same. Now. Exactly. So I'm going to go all the way to the thousandths place. Okay. And I can see that 401 thousandths is yes. bigger than 400, 400 thousandths. Very nice. So Look at the, ooh, what is happening? I'm telling you, my writing work. It's okay. okay. It'll all work. All right. So I know that this is my greatest. Okay. And, and the other one comes to number three. Number three. Very nice job. I like the little blob green, the, the red thing. I yeah. like that. Yeah. That's good. It's like yes. using my hand. So I always tell them, you know, tell my kiddos in class, when they're comparing decimals, grab mm -hmm. a scratch sheet of paper or use your hand and kind of right. go left to right, just mm -hmm. like we would on the whole number. So numbers. once you, num at least when you've ordered these, because if we had had different whole numbers, mm -hmm. Right, we would have had to order those, of course, first right. before we got into our decimals. But because these were all the same, we had to just start looking at our decimals. So very nice job. I like the little blob of the red. See, it all makes sense. Yes, you the blob makes sense. I did. First. I doubted you with the blob, but right. yes, it does. All right, have fun on your quiz. Give you a little extra practice. That's right. We'll awesome. How, we'll see how you do. Math on.